And right guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the self-developed YouTube channel. Let's go the best channel for men. I mean that. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. It's another beautiful overcast, semi-overcast day today, guys. Man, it is getting hype. And what I mean by that is the days are getting longer. We have daylight savings. Had that a couple days ago. So it's like 5.30 right now and it's bright, beautiful, going for walks. It's getting warmer. The robins are coming out. I started my cut today. Time to get lean, drop like 10, 12 pounds, get shredded, come on banging out the videos i don't know if we're going daily or not but definitely just more frequently seeing whatever god wants it's all in his will that really is the energy now guys we show up as men but i truly do believe god needs to meet us halfway or really i should say we need to meet god see i'm a very like preemptive person so i'll just jump and i need to learn not all times i need to jump do you understand sometimes i just need to like hold off but when God meets me, I then capitalize. So maybe that's what this is. Let's see. Anyways, that's not why you clicked. In today's video, I titled it, Why I Believe All Men Should Stay Single in Their 20s. So guys, the reason I say men should be single in their 20s, and first and foremost, let's kind of backtrack. Guys, I was in a relationship for five years time. I think a lot of you know this. Maybe, maybe not. She was a great girl. And so a lot of you may be thinking, David, you were in a relationship for half your 20s. I was 19 to 24. How are you going to tell me, right, to be single if you were in one, you hypocrite? And you're 100% right, guys. This is all contextual. I do believe that some of you can be in relationships. And if it's in God's will, he will send you, uh, not to all of you guys, but to some of you, um, to help build. For that time being, I learned a ton. And I was planning on marrying this woman, but it did not happen and now fast forward being on monk mode for about a year, to be honest. She broke up with me like two weeks ago, a year ago. I've learned so much and I now plan to be, I'm 25, right? My next girl won't be my wife. So I've really only been with two girls <laughs> in my entire 20s, right? Even though guys, I've been around, I've done the whole hookup culture game. I did very well with women at a very young age. So I kind of got that out of my system early. Believe it or not, take it or leave it. But the reason why I say most men should be single in their 20s is simply because, guys, I'm talking to, like, the 19-year-old, 20-year-old, 21-year-old, 22. I mean, really, yeah, you're, you're all your 20s. You have especially, like, here's the thing, too. Five years ago when I was in that relationship, when I was 19, the world was so different than it is now. There was no such thing as, like, gender confusion or, like, political correctness. Like, it was... I guess here and there, but very minuscule. Life was pretty concrete. Like we understood what to do. There wasn't anything as like red pill at that time. There was no self-developed, none, none of this stuff. There was no red pill community, no spin plates, dude, nothing. There was nothing. There was like no noise. It was, if you went on YouTube, what did I watch back then? I'd watch like photography and videography stuff, right? Entrepreneurship stuff. And yeah, it was very different back then where now guys, I really mean it to the average 18, 19 year old, 20 year old, the dating market has changed so much that women's standards are so unbelievable and unreal. And not, I'm not saying this is women's fault by any means. In fact, this is, this is society. You see, it's very chaotic right now. It's propagated certain lies and narratives to these women and men. Um, and it's just, it, it doesn't, I truly believe like if I was 19 right now and I got into a relationship, guys, I understand it's fun and games. You can do it. You can have fun. But it's, it's, get, it's gonna get you nowhere. Guys, if you are not going into this relationship, and here's the only time I recommend, or say you can get into a relationship. Again, I'm not saying I'm God, but this is what I'd recommend, and this is where I was at 19. The only time I can see you, right? You're eligible to get in a relationship in your 20s, because I'm 25, I'll probably be in one soon, right? Is if you are going into it. I was just watching a Ben Shapiro video on this, pretty interesting. But if you're going into it with the end in mind, what is the end in mind? Family, marriage, being with this girl your entire life. You know, whether you have literal kids or not, I don't know how the world's going to be. The end in mind, ride or die. This is your one chick. And I know to a lot of you guys, this sounds very backwards because of what I said before, our society, it's, it's tinkered with everything now. Like think of like a potion, right? We had like two cups, right? That you put stuff in. Okay. When I was 19, there wasn't that much stuff in the mix. It was pretty straightforward. Well, maybe it was because I knew myself deep enough that I was, I knew when I was with her, I was like, I'm going to be with you forever. 
This is basically what I said, and I'll make different videos on that, but it was a ride or die. I was with her for five years. She broke up with me. I didn't split with her. Let's make that clear, right? So the, the cup, though, wasn't as, it wasn't as foggy. Where now, the dating cup, and I'm not just saying with me, just collectively, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And I blame everything. I blame men. I blame my community. I blame women. I bl it's every, guys, it's just, the, it's TikTok, there's it's everything. You don't know what to do anymore. And that's the video I was watching with Ben Shapiro. There was a girl, a TikTok went viral where she was trying her best to articulate like, I think like a, 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 a part of like dating that beforehand would just be known as, you know, we like each other, we're vetting, we're courting. But now because of how politically correct everything is, she couldn't say certain things. She was like basically walking on eggshells the entire time because of how politically correct everything is. So she couldn't like, it was just hard to watch, and and I and I feel her because I get it. If I was her, right, nineteen, I wouldn't know what to say either. Like, where are we? Can I hug you? Can I kiss you? Are we dating? Oh, do you have twenty other girls? Is this just like? It, it wasn't like that when I was growing up. Not that bad. Not 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 the way it is now. And I think that's why, like, when I make the videos I do it kind of comes across as old school. You guys are like, David, you know, you're only 25. Why are you so against hookup culture and all this stuff? I don't know, man. I guess I just went through it pretty quickly, but I never had it that bad. Like, I, you know, I, I was smart. I don't know, man. I just, maybe I'm old fashioned. So to bring it full circle, guys, the solution, because this channel's solution based, there are too many, you guys know my beef with red pill YouTubers. There are too many individuals that just give you problems, right? Blaming everything on society and then they just leave, that's it. And then you guys keep watching them because they offer you no solution. You're just, you're stuck in the void with them. With this channel, I want every single video, stop squeaking table, we had this problem last time, we're not doing it again. I want every single video to give you some answer, right? And it really comes back to the same thing, but you have two answers at this point, okay? Number one, you, well, it's really, it's all God's will, whatever he says to you guys, I'll be honest. But number one, let's say God does send you a woman while you're in your early 20s, right? Like I was 19 and guys, when I make videos of like, do not approach woman, I mean that. Like I didn't approach her. I didn't even know she existed. She just came up to me at the gym one day and then tried to like talk and she worked at Starbucks and she was trying to get my order and I just like, it, it's just funny because like I didn't know that until she told me. She was like, yeah, I was that girl. And I was like, oh, and then eventually she shot me a DM and was just like, Hey, <laughs> I was like, oh, what's up? Sorry guys, I gotta, I gotta fix this table in sec. All right, hopefully that's better with the table. I'm just gonna try not to move as much. I probably need to invest in like a chair and not sit on a wooden table. But anyways, long story short, guys, she came up to me and that's how things uh, moved forward. So if God sends you a woman, right? She comes up to you multiple times, like she's trying to be in your life and you're like, you know what? I'll, I'll give you a shot, right? Let's say that happens. The only time I can see it going through, saying yes. And granted, guys, this was five years ago. This was not in the dating pool that it is now. I feel bad for a lot of you, but there are solutions. I'm gonna give you an answer. The only time I can see it happening is if you as a man already have a Northern Star and a mission and she can help move that. Does it, do you understand? Like at that time, I was, I was already an entrepreneur. I was already on YouTube. I had a fitness business at the time. I was just switching to a more photography, videography business. Like my life was stacked. I was good to go. So when she found me, which was, it was beautiful timing, I needed a help me at that time. She ended up being like a model. She came on to, she was a very pretty girl. So she came on to a lot of my shoots. I practiced a lot of photo video. If I was like driving out to places, she would literally come as like an assistant basically. And she loved it. You know, she was building her Instagram at the time. She had like a blog and it was doing very well. Like it was all, it was, it was beautifully working. I was moving, she was moving. Um, so that's the only time I can see that working. But the reality is guys, how many of you are actually entrepreneurs and really have uh, a solid foundation? She came into my life when I was 19. I started my self-development journey at 15, right? I started my entrepreneurship journey at 18. So I was already off the go running it. Do you understand? That's very important. The reality is the majority of you guys, like I said, unfortunately don't have that. So even if she were to come into your life, which again, God is not gonna send her. Guys, this is why I make videos of do not approach women. And this is why I believe so many men are single because God's basically pointing a mirror in your face saying, dude, the reason I haven't sent you a girl yet is because you still have work to do. I say this to myself, but I've accepted that. That's the difference. Like I'm single guys, I'll probably be single for, I don't know how long. It could be my entire life. But the difference now is, I, I'm aware of that and I'm okay with that. A lot of you guys, you try to like numb that out. You try to, you can't accept that possibility that maybe you still have more work to do as a man. 
right? Like you still live at home, dead broke. The, you have no clue where you're going in life. Like why would God, as the, as the metro, metaphorical and literal father, why would he send you one of his daughters? So what? You can just both be led to degeneracy? No, right? So anyways, I'm, I'm speaking of a ton of things here. Anyways, we have that, okay? That's the only time I can see it happening. You're based as a man, which very few men are, especially at 19. I was, I've been based, guys, for a long time, okay? Number two, though, if you don't have that, this now brings us to step two. You guys are in broom monk mode. This is the whole kind of premise of this video, and that's what I was in before I met her at, you know, at 19. You guys need to build yourself as men. The vast majority of men, especially now, guys, like I said, the dating pool that I was in, the potion, it was a lot more clear. It wasn't as confusing. Where now, guys, there are a lot of things going against you as men. I'll just be brutally honest and say it. Me too. I'm, I mean, I'm in this as well, but I don't, I don't play the dating game. My goodness, guys, you gotta, at an 18, you gotta come with this height, this six figures, this, I don't know, car type. Because of TikTok and social media, the standard is, it is ridiculous. Guys, I'm telling you, if you enter the dating market right now, you are shooting yourself in the foot. And even if you do get her, and I'm not talking about God sending you a good woman, I mean you going out and just being a degenerate and forcefully grabbing woman, it, it's going to ruin you, dude. It will ruin you. I make my living, a huge part of it, off coaching men who have made these mistakes. I speak to them all day long. So if you guys are thinking, it's not going to be me, I'll see you in a few months time. Trust me. It's happened to me too in the past. You're not ready. It's not worth it. And this is where I conclude the video. This is why I think the majority of men should be single in their 20s. Now, does that mean your entire 20s? No, guys. But you need a period. Okay, I don't care if maybe you're 19, you're 21, you're 22, maybe you're 26. Maybe you just got out of a relationship and you realize, yeah, the world is degenerate. Okay? You need a season, a period of abstinence, a period of monk mode where you are solely building yourself like I had at 19. So God sees that. Guys, God sees everything. He sees how much work you've put in. He, see, he, he knows when you're ready for help. At that time, it worked beautifully, dude. The first three years of the relationship, really the whole relationship, but the last couple years it got rocky. The first three years, dude, she was like my Robin to my Batman. I always had something to do and she could always have something. I gave her work. There was always help. We were always leveling up. Majority of you guys can't do that. You guys just, and I realize now, I'm getting so many revelations why like, it's crazy why most couples, that when they hang out, they just watch Netflix and eat chocolate and do nothing. But buddy, when I was out, we were driving all over the country, all over Ontario, that's, that's where I live in Canada. This place, this shoot, traveling here, up, down, it's Starbucks, work, lap, like it was just, it was fire, man. I had stuff going. You, do you honestly have stuff going like this? Right? And the best part about having stuff going like this is you don't need any girl. I'm on monk mode now, guys. I'm single. I've never worked harder. I've never been more connected with God with mission and purpose. And there's God sees fit. I don't need a helpmate right now. And he's right. I don't. I can manage my business and my life by myself. You got to be real and objective with yourself. That's the whole point of this video. Stop lying and just being fed all these BS, you know, just degenerate falsehoods that are trying to numb you up and fill you, make you feel all cushy cushy. It, it'll shoot you in the foot, man. It's like drinking poison, right? Yeah, it'll quench your thirst temporarily, but it will kill you. That's what modern dating is. If you're not ready and God does not see it fit for him to send you a girl, then get on monk mode and stay there. All right? If God hasn't opened your door yet, it means the door is closed. Stay in your room. Stop trying to forcefully come out. You're going to see something that you don't want to see. All right. So anyways, guys, this video is long enough goodness, especially if I'm making more frequent videos. I got to keep these a little bit shorter. I really hope you guys are enjoying these. I know my channel uh, does nowhere near the same views as like other kind of degenerate channels, but my time is coming. I will have one of the biggest, best uh, YouTube channels for all men globally. I have no doubt about that. And I'm just glad you guys are here. So I really hope you guys appreciate the value because yeah, it took me a long time to gain this and and it, it feels very like underappreciated, not from you guys, but just globally. But that's okay, guys. God hasn't sent me all the views and stuff yet. It'll come. It means I'm not ready. I wouldn't know what to do with uh, how to handle it. It'll come. Your girl will come. It'll. Don't worry. Relax. Do your work. Like the videos. Just do your work. Trust the process. So that is it, guys. Thank you so much. I'll finish it here. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I'll finish it here with the final plugs. 
If you guys are interested and would like to work with me on a personal level, you guys know the flex. There is always one-on-one -on -one coaching, guys. Spots are open. Come book yourself a spot below, guys. The step down is group coaching, which is the workshop. You can check our next one coming up of April in a few weeks' time. Four one-hour calls with myself and a small group of men. I do it every single month. Check that below. And finally, our third and cheapest option, this is the course. Passive online, over three hours long, changing your lives as men, all right? Go download the free half an hour version below guys get yourself a teaser and i will finish it there you can support edge we got that red t-shirt come on i was gonna say tank top but that's not a tank top uh gonna bang out a couple more videos go hit legs today we have a pretty big squat pr my my hip uh, injured my hip last competition but we making gains we're coming back strong guys do your monk mode go to the gym meal prep pray to god start a side business do well in your career this is what you need man you really need that base when god sees fit that you're ready for a helpmate she or he if you're a girl but this is for men she will come okay i promise you don't you're not ready yet that's the the, the harsh reality you got to accept you're not ready yet and i'm not but i'm okay with that okay find peace in that quiet time to become lethal Thank you guys. Check your next video with that. Till then, much love. Peace.